Besides the Vaughn Williams pieces from my graduation recital repertoire, one of my absolute favorites would have to be the aria, Our Very Own Home, from the opera Fellow Travelers by Gregory Spears, which premiered in Cincinnati back in 2016. This opera tells the story of two men and their passionate love affair, and, and this was set during the 50s, so it was a very dark time in history for, you know, gay people. Uh, and, and, and at the time, being part of the LGBTQ plus community was considered a crime. And in this aria, uh, Hawkins tells Tim, or Skippy, as he likes to call him, that um, he can't be everything that um, Tim wants him to be and that um, their affair is going nowhere. and, and this essentially happens before their eventual breakup. And I feel like this piece uh, effectively illustrates the plight of many um, LGBTQ plus people around the world, you know, just living in the closet and, and living, living a secret life and, and trying their best to, to just love. And I feel like it's, it's a really universal theme that many people can relate to.
Dangling spatulas. I'm not one of those. Stay. Just stay. Just stay, come over here, there are things we can have, and there are things we can be for each other, skip me. We can't be that. You're not one of those. Not one of those. Let me hold you for an hour. That's what we get. That's what we are given. Let me hold you, your head on my arms, just for an hour, you and me and. Here in the shadows, matching plates a bed, a bookshelf. Science is an unfinished musical theater song cycle that 
I have been working on these past few months. And the first piece that I was able to finish was Virgo. I wrote it during a very emotional time in my life. And, you know, the text just came out like word vomit. And um, the music and lyrics were both done in one sitting. Immediately, I enlisted the, the help of um, Rafi Hendrano to arrange the, the whole composition. And, and um, I feel like we were able to achieve what I originally intended for the piece, and that is for it to be like a, a fusion of Jason Robert Brown and Stephen Sondheim, and, and, and it ended up being this really sad and, and quite depressing contemporary musical theater uh, piece. Looking back at what we shared, time well spent and souls were bare. I never was this honest with anyone before. But sadly, you decided to walk out the door. And now, this love, love. You said I love you, it was December. We were in bed, do you remember? I was lost, but now I am found. I am so glad to have you around. You call me every night and make faces. We go out every week to different you would bake and I would teach you songs. You were the right to all of my wrongs. Do you remember the time we went up north? I would get tired from all the walking because I was short. Do you remember we ate mangoes and went to the park? Everything was peaceful but all so dark. But then there were lights. Decided we 
had to part. And oh, it pains me to see you leave. I won't ask you to stay with me. I'd rather you chase your dreams and be free. Happy. It's all I want for you to be happy. I want you to be happy. I
One of the best things about being a voice major in the Philippines is that you get to sing Kundiman. And I am absolutely in love with Filipino art songs. That is why when I was curating my graduation recital repertoire, uh, I wanted to include an original composition. I wanted that composition to be specifically a Filipino art song. And at the time, I was working with uh, Nathan Sassing on a songwriting project, and so I asked him to help supply music to this text that I wrote about unrequited love and also asked another friend of mine, Rocky Andrana, to co-write the piece. And uh, we ended up with this really beautiful, majestic Filipino art song called Isang Bulo.
It has been an absolutely crazy journey these past eight years of, of studying in the conservatory. Uh, I always go back to that time when I first saw the film Yentl and when, when Streisand sang the words, if you can fly then soar. Uh, it, it was definitely one of the most memorable moments in, in, in not just in the movie but also uh, in my life, you know, as, as a musician, I, I felt like that serves as a really, really huge inspiration for me. And 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 now I I would like to thank my family and friends, USD, for training me to become the musician that I am today. And I'd like to thank Dr. George Qiang and the Classical Music Foundation for taking a chance on me and taking me in as one of your scholars. Thank you so much for supporting my education. I am incredibly grateful for um, your generosity. I would also like to thank my former mentors at the New Era University College of Music, uh, voice department chair, Professor Ligaya Kinicho, and my, my former voice teacher, Professor Ricky Salazar. Thank you so much for belie believing in me and I was I was literally a 19 year old kid who had no background in music and had only about less than 10 performances under my belt and all of them were even non-professional experiences, yet you guys accepted me as a voice major and believed in me and literally taught me how to sing, so I'm eternally grateful, grateful for your help. Of course, I would also like to thank my voice teacher, Sir Randy Longo. Thank you so much for always being patient with me and, and super understanding. I kid you not when I say that he is one of the nicest and best teachers that I've ever had the good fortune of working with. I feel so lucky to have such an intelligent, open-minded professor who, who is caring and, and um, I just wanna say that I wouldn't be the singer that I am today without all your teaching, so thank you so much. Sir, thank you also to my Opera One family. I love you guys. My pianist, Abel Alano, who is also one of my bestest friends. It has been and it will always be a, a pleasure collaborating with you. And of course, I'd like to thank the Manila Pianos, Sir Richard C. Facundo for always being so supportive of me, my friends, and all of the classical musicians in the Philippines that has worked with him. I'm super thankful for everything that you do for us. Also to everyone who's watching this, uh, everyone who's been supportive of my journey since day one, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. Question 
yet more to believe. Oh, tell me where, where is this someone who will turn to look at me and want to share my every sweet imagined possibility? I know each step I take. Papa, I've a voice now, each page I turn. Papa, I've a choice now, each mile I travel only means the more I have to go. What's wrong with wanting more? If you can fly, then so. I can hear you, Papa, I can see you, Papa, I can feel you, Papa, watch me. <laughs>